Hello and welcome. It is Monday, July 27th, 2020. You know what dawned on me? I really haven't told you who I am. <laughs> so I'm going to remedy that right now. My name is Michael Sherlock. I'm CEO of Shock Your Potential. We are a global leadership and sales training company, and we deal in potential professional potential specifically. So this app is really my way of reaching people in an entirely new manner to be able to say, hey, training and developing yourself can be fun, it can be different, and hopefully uh, between all the things we have in the app now and all the amazing things that we have coming, you'll find some things that really help you to move your potential to the next level. So Monday Motivation is about giving you, and actually frankly giving me, a theme for the week. I like to try and identify before I start my week, uh, you know, what's going to be my focus? What's going to give me energy and drive this week? So today I'm talking about living your authentic life. Oh, boy. Now, the reason I say that is because it's really important to me that as we move forward as professionals, we are being true to who we are. And you might say, well, Michael, I'm living my authentic life right now, in which case, Yes, I'm so proud of you. And take time to recognize that and pat yourself on the back because not everybody is. In fact, the majority of my career, I'd say that I was not fully authentic because I thought I had to be a certain way. I had to act a certain way. I had to dress a certain way. I had to do things a certain way. And as, as I got older and wiser, I found that I could show more and more of my authentic self. But it really honestly wasn't until about five years ago when out of the blue, I actually literally went a little blue and said, the heck of it, I'm just going to bring forth more energy. And I actually started by dyeing my, my bangs like a navy blue. And from that point, I found so much more freedom in myself, a higher level of creativity. I stopped being so worried about what other people thought and started really living professionally the way I knew I was. So the way I dress, the way my hair is, these are kind of funny, quirky, different things about me, but they are a part of my authentic self. And it's a part of my belief that I deal in very serious business issues, but I do it in a way that's fun and that should make you feel comfortable, maybe put your guard down a little bit, break down some walls and have you go, wow, you know what? I can be my authentic self and also be a professionally aligned as I want to be. Doesn't mean you have to dye your hair funny. Doesn't mean you have to buy retro dresses. <laughs> but it means that identifying ourselves as being authentic will help us to achieve even more. So as you know, also during Monday Motivation, I talk a little bit about what's coming up for the week. So on Wednesday, we have a new video that's being released in the executive uh, membership of the Potential Lab. So the Potential Lab, remember, there's always going to be three videos in the free membership of the app, and they will have one new that will rotate every month. In the executive membership, we add a new one every single Wednesday. And so that little $5.99 a month, it gives you a lot of access to new material. Plus we have a ton of things coming that will only be available for executive members. But uh, in the executive uh, membership Potential Lab this week, we are re releasing a video called, It's Not Me, It's You, Having Difficult Conversations with Your Employees. And it's really fun. I talk about how I've had these with people who've worked for me and with me and how I've tried to have difficult conversations, but do so in a way that's respectful of people, but really gets across the point that there's some serious issues that we need to uh, take care of. Also in the lineup for the podcast this week, we still have a mixture of some of our flashback episodes as well as some new ones. And we kick it off with Julius, the chef. He was a flashback episode from a couple years ago in the app and or in the podcast and he has an amazing cookbook with Caribbean food. The story that the stories that he tells about even writing the cookbook during two hurricanes, trying to cook with no, you know, light, no heat, and hardly any of his cooking tools and trying to, you know, perfect his recipes before he submitted his uh, cookbook to his editor. <laughs> and uh, so we talk about the ingredients for success and talk about somebody who is committed to it. He also has a really interesting background as a boxer. So you're going to 
to want to listen to this one. And he's such a dynamic person. On Tuesday, we talked to my friend, Mary Lynn Graham, and I've known her for a long time in a different professional setting. And now she is a business and life strategist. And we're going to talk about how you, uh, you know, master your life and your business goals and do so in a way that really asks the questions about what's important to you. On Wednesday, I have something completely new for you. Uh, Shannon McMillan, or uh, Milliman, sorry, Shannon Milliman, and she is going to be the first of our guests for the top 10 series. I have all these people that I've asked them to give me top 10 tips for all these crazy different things. And hers are so much fun because they're top 10 tips for living abundantly while saying yes. She's also uh, quite into uh, improv acting and she's very funny. So it's so worth, uh, worth a listen. And when we have the video version out, completely worth a watch. <laughs> she is adorable. On Thursday, we have uh, Derek Eels and he is the CEO of a travel company, a corporate travel company called Tendot. Now, this is not just your normal travel organization. He creates exceptional travel experiences for his clients that are simply stunning. Their goal is to not just have you travel, but to have your life changed. And so we're going to be talking about making it a 10 dot day. I was fortunate enough actually to be able to uh, be on one of his, uh, his adventures several years ago when my husband and I went to Peru and it was hands down the most uh, spectacular uh, way to travel. I can uh, just amazing. And then finally we wrap up the week on Friday with Kathy Fayok. She's part of our author series and she is called the business book strategist. I love her dearly. She is just an incredible human being. And she's going to talk about if you think you have a book in you, how do you actually get it out? And even if you're not sure, but you know, you're curious about what happens with authors and the writing process, we dive into a whole bunch of things. She also uh, helps authors who aren't sure where they are in the process to come together in workshops and be able to work on their, on their manuscripts. So it's going to be a dynamic week. We have a lot to come, a lot more in the weeks to come as well. Some new things that you'll be seeing added to the app. Thank you for joining us. And remember, any, any thoughts or questions or comments, send us an email at sypapp at shockyourpotential.com. And don't forget to become a registered user.